that what is that thing all right let's get some autumn sambos or australian salmon whatever you want to call them we call them sambos here people get angry over that sometimes because the rest of australia calls samson fish sambos i've never heard anyone call them that i'm offended And you know we've got to try to get them on surface. That can be tricky to get on surface in the um, in the estuary because they're focused on jelly shrimp. In the surf, they're a lot easier. Just roll a metal. I just got one to take surface, and um, the camera wasn't rolling. I might have just got it. Oh, he came off. What happened? Oh. Dude, what? Beautiful, it's a good brim. It's a really good brim. Oh, don't get all messy. All right, a bad, really subtle take. Belly tapped it and he was on. Oh, that's a good fish. What even is that? It wasn't chasing the prawns, it um it was chasing bait fish. Yeah, yeah, see that thing? Look at that! What is that thing? That's a big Sambo, man. Good one.
Oh, it's a Jewfish. No way. Hey mate, could I get you to take a photo of me with the Jewfish? Come on, uh, maybe that side, yeah. That's a beauty. Thanks, man. Ah, oh, no. Oh, beautiful. Super happy with that. Oh, I gotta put it back, man. He's uh, been out of the water. You're right, mate. Take your time. There he goes. Awesome. All right, so a couple of things. Um, I thought it was a salmon because obviously it was hitting jelly shrimp, but I know that Jewfish do that behavior as well, where they scoop them up. And obviously earlier I saw something big um, hitting fish, not just uh, jelly shrimp. Anyway, so you saw what happened next. I chucked a grub and I, I hooked up. <clears throat> but you notice that my drag was really light it's because I, I lost that splash prawn earlier and um, I just wanted to really feather that drag and even when I increased it I'm talking like three to four clicks at a time so no need to rush it and it paid off that jig head was barely in um, a bit of sinew on the inside of its mouth so uh, yeah I was lucky to get it in this is why I always take my my uh, landing net especially places like this with a big drop because you never know what you're going to hook up on and um, yeah I, if I didn't have that net 100% I was losing that fish bro how'd he go under my kayak he's in my pedal drive It's a drew fish, hundred percent. No, 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 he's on the mangrove. Oh, it's a Dravalli. I thought with the Nox it was a Jewfish, it's a big Trev.
Ah, oh, he's a chunk. Silver Trevally. Sorry, I was taking a photo. Oh, all good. I love this time of year. So many species you can get in the estuaries. Uh, yeah, he. I'm not going to measure him, but I don't think he's my PB. But yeah, they go hard, man. So good. I wasn't trying to be rude to the people, but <clears throat> when I'm trying to de-hook a fish and get a photo and get it straight back into the water, like as soon as possible, people have a tendency to crowd around and want to take videos, photos, blah, 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 which is fine. I get it. But um, I just want to take like three or four photos and then get it straight back into the water. I don't want it to sit out the water for like ages until it dies, just so people can get photo and video, you know? <clears throat> So yeah, I try to just keep it brief. Yeah, this is what I call it, blah, 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 and keep it moving. <laughs> 